as they mentioned in that video, they need to shut this down, okay? Shut it down. It doesn't deserve to be standing. Because God knows. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So what's up, Bentley Gang, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are tuning into this video, you're probably as curious as I am. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're coming back, hello. Everybody is because I literally don't have no support at this time. But baby girl, patience. Yes, patience. If you ain't keeping the G, keep that shit away from me, period. So anyway, guys, this is a rant video. Who is the topic of conversation? Augusta Fails, Savage Institute and Visual Arts. They are in the motherfucking hot seat, okay? They are the topic of conversation. So without further ado, if you guys like my content, please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. And make sure you comment and let me know what you guys think. I'm always up to constructive criticism or tips. You dig? But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first, I am going to show you guys a video of this article that was sent to me. And when it was sent to me, I was advised to motherfucking brace myself. Okay, and that's what I did. When I looked at that video, I was disgusted, disgraceful, distasteful, all out, raw, piss off. Okay, this school is located in Baltimore, Maryland, and let's just say it's wrong, y'all. This is wrong. I'm talking about wrong, wrong. So apparently, I'm, it's time to get ready for graduation and things, making sure kids have the requirements that's needed and all that. So I'm assuming this mom is getting ready for her son's graduation to be alarmed that he will not be graduating. Tell me why. Mr. May, this is a question for either yourself or the council president, if you'd like to comment as well. Um, after last week, you had launched the youth initiative, which had education as a, as a big part of that. Um, I mean, I'd yesterday. Like to, is this question about this, this in, in issue of violence? I'm hoping to get your reaction to education in our Project Baltimore investigation that found a number of students over at uh, Dan, Augusta Fells. we specifically Fels. said that we were talking about this issue of violence. We're talking about young people being shot. I just want to remind Mr. you Mr. Mayor, of that. I, and I remind understand you, that. And hold I, on. I, I'm talking. Just wait a second. It reminds you of that, that we made that be clear before we started. Just to let you know, continue with your question. This is our opportunity to ask you questions, Mr. Mayor, so that's why I'm asking you the question. I understand it's off topic, and I apologize for that, but we're hoping to just get your reaction to the Project Baltimore investigation that found a few hundred students at Augusta Fells that were being passed through the grades, uh, even though they were failing on their report cards and such. Looking to see if you think there needs to be some action taken here. Listen, we know that we have to improve our school system, Dan. I think we all know that. But we all have to also understand that what we have to stop doing is using our young people and families and young people that need help as pawns for media clicks. And we have to understand what those families are going through. For you, uh, that might just be a story. But for those young people and those families, they don't want, a lot of those kids don't want their information being put out there. What we're going to do, and this is why it's important for us to, again, understand and help everyone understand that we have a school system that has been underfunded by $300 million a year by our state. And they're just now, after our wonderful General Assembly overrode the governor's short-sighted veto of fully funding schools in one of the wealthiest states in the wealthiest country in the history of the world, that we'll be able to improve our system working with our partners, again, because the city does not control the schools, to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our students in a 21st century fashion. Thank you, and thank you, everybody, for coming.
A story you first saw on Fox 45 last night is now the talk of the town. A Baltimore student who's passed three classes in four years is ranked near the top half of his class. This Project Baltimore's Chris Paps explains there are growing calls for that student school to be investigated and shut down immediately. Now, the C4 and Brian Neiman podcast. I believe it's violating the constitutional rights of those children. And there's no way in the world you can look at what's being reported by Project Baltimore and say that they are providing those children with a thorough and efficient form of public education. Strong words and a call to action from one of the region's most popular radio talk shows. That's astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. What did they, this school needs to be shut down. C4 or Clarence Mitchell and Brian Neiman speaking out about a Fox 45 News investigation into Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts in West Baltimore. If we have half the kids mm. in the school who are below a .13, that's not a 1.3 people, a .13, that school needs to be shut down and it's not doing its job. He didn't fail. The school failed him. The school failed at their job. On Monday, Project Baltimore reported on Tiffany Francis' son. In his four years at Augusta Fells, he passed three classes, earning a grade point average of 0 0.13. Yet his transcripts show his class rank is 62 of 120, meaning 58 students just in his grade have a 0 0.13 GPA or lower. This single working mother of three says the school never told her that her son was failing until last month when the 17-year-old was put back in ninth grade. And I'm just trying to fight. He like, Mom, what, what was all this for? What did I do this for? Like, don't he get a chance? Do he get a chance? City schools will not interview with Project Baltimore about France's son or Augusta Fells. Instead, we received a two-page statement. In it, city schools states they mailed France a letter, conducted a home visit, and said France went to the school and met with leadership. France says none of that happened. North Avenue also said in the statement it's reviewing actions that impacted student outcomes at the school prior to this year. Was the agenda of the school system. I'm putting it right where it is, Brian. Yeah. The $17,000 they get per kid is gone if this kid either leaves the system to get real help for his academic problems, that they keep them moving to keep the money coming in. Like, they need to go to that school today and say, all right, we need to see all the paperwork. We need to check everybody's records. We need to look at all of the grades and figure out what is going on here. In the first 24 hours after Project Baltimore broke this story, it has received thousands of comments and shares just on Facebook. And as C4 and Brian Neiman were calling for an investigation live on air, Rick Henry, Maryland's Inspector General of Education, wrote the show. The Inspector General is listening to us right now, Richard Henry, and based upon what we're sharing, Brian, he is asking that please, anybody who knows anything about this story and other issues, please contact them. I'm glad he's listening and... and I, I hope people do call that, that know anything about it or can give more information. I'm Chris Paps. Because as you see in the video, a point thirteen GPA. This is the motherfucking kicker. He is ranked 62 out of 120 kids. So there is like 58 kids with a point thirteen GPA or lower, y'all. Baby, baby, I got something for the school and I got something for mama. And don't come on this video trying to come for me because I'm telling y'all how I feel and how this thing should be. And if you was in high school, you should know. So anyway, like I said, I showed y'all this video. Let's get the fuck into it. First of all, the school, shame on you. Shame on you for promoting this kid every year, every year to an upper grade, knowing that he was failing. This kid only passed three classes in four fucking years. 
I'm sorry y'all, I don't mean to curse this much, but I am heated. I'm gonna refrain from all the cursing, I, pro I apologize, but I am heated. How does this happen? How does this happen? I am Bahu. This makes no sense to me. Because first of all, the report cards and the progress reports. School, mom, progress reports, report cards. What the f was being reported on those? I am curious. And I'm curious to know what the highest GPA was. If this is 58 kids out of 120. Okay. Second thing. There was a, um, it says after an alarming project Baltimore investigation found hundreds of students failing at West Baltimore High School. <sighs> As the video says in the screenshots, it says that these schools receive a certain amount of money per child per year. I don't know what that is. I have no clue. I have no clue. But whatever it is, these kids deserve better. Mom, if your kid is attending the F school and you feel that that child is not getting the proper education, you have every right to go to the Board of Education. I don't know about Baltimore, but several states that I've been in, if your kid is going, and we moved in nice districts to where our kids could go to good schools. But some districts change, they break up, and it's funny. But what you can do is use your brain. Go to the Board of Education and request that your kid go to a B school or A school and get the proper education that they deserve. And that's what I did. I went to the Board of Education and baby, Lord and behold, the next year my kids were going to an A school with transportation. Granted, it was 35 minutes away, so if they missed the bus, your ass was taking them. But not mine. I had to do that one time. One time. And one time only. So y'all, I am holding the school accountable, and I am holding mom accountable. Because it is found that mom name is Tiffany Francis. I understand that mom worked three jobs. Mom is a single mom, but baby, you have to make sure that your kids is meeting the criteria that is necessary to meet graduation. Beginning at my daughter's ninth grade year, we met with counselors, her and myself, and we signed a document mapping out her curriculum for four years. And I didn't let go, I don't let go. Every year, every year, I made sure that her classes were being met. I made sure that his classes were being met. Because that's the responsibility. That's the obligation that we owed our children. Maybe they don't understand about there being necessary things that's needed in order to graduate. Who knows? They just be might be taking motherfucking PE all the time. We don't know. But it's up for us to know and understand. I was in high school. I knew that there was requirements needed to graduate. So I will assume it's the same thing. Granted, I don't know about Baltimore, baby. I come from North Carolina. Okay. We had a great school system, okay? Where all that extra, listen. And also, now they have portals. I have had Dojo, I have had Parent Portal, and I have had Canvas. Where I monitor my kids' academics, 
their attendance, their classes, their GPA, everything. As I said, I don't know about Baltimore, but hey, this is what's happening. This is unacceptable. And it took for a project that was investigating this for this to come out loud and clear. Not in the ninth grade, not in the 10th grade, not in the 11th grade, and goddamn show ain't in the 12th grade. This is sad. This is sad, and I'm pissed. As they mentioned in that video, they need to shut this down, okay? Shut it down. It doesn't deserve to be standing. Because God knows. Y'all, and I'm going to read you the school's motto, okay? I'm going to read you their motto. Listen, Linda. Listen, listen, L Linda. Listen. This is what they had to say about this motto, baby. At Augusta Fells Savage Institute, we tap into students' potential and help. Rewind. At Augusta Fells Savage Institute, we tap into students' potential and help them succeed academically, artistically, socially, and emotionally. Our mission is to prepare 21st century leaders and learners in an arts-focused learning community where students' achievement is the priority. Bullshit. Y'all are all about bullshit, and this is wrong. Y'all need to scrap this, erase this, delete this, and your school history. Period. Let's continue. It is sickening when I read that shit. And I'm going to read y'all two other screenshots as well. I think I already read them. <laughs> how? Tell me how. You got progress reports. Oh! In the school, no, okay, mom is advising that she did not find this out until just recent that her son was put back in the ninth grade. Then the school comes out with a statement trying to justify advising that they reached out to mom and it was a home visit. Then mom turns around and says, this never happened. Somebody got to be held accountable. Somebody. Somebody has to be held accountable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is, but it needs to be somebody. Okay? This is sad, y'all. This is sad. I'm, I am behooved. I am behooved. Like I said, it's now time for me to go back to what needs to be done in my home, okay? I am done ranting. Someone sent me this and I felt like it needed to be addressed. It is out there, it is loud and clear. This has to stop. This can never happen again. Shut that school down. Baltimore, y'all need to be ashamed of yourself. Y'all need to be ashamed, okay? And if anybody feel different, let me know. But anyway, y'all, I am done with this rant. Go, go investigate this story yourselves, y'all. This is teaching moments. This is a lesson. Do not wait until it's time for your kid to graduate to assure that they have the requirements they need to meet graduation get involved stay woke stay focused on your kids when we when when they clock out of that school we clock in sometimes we have to save our kids from themselves whether it's tough love or whatever the case may be there is no explanation as to why this young man only passed three classes out of four years but i'll let y'all be the judge as i was the judge of the situation 
I don't know the full, full facts, but baby, I know this is jacked the fuck up, okay? And it don't take a rocket scientist for me to figure that out. But anyway, like I said, I'm done with ranting. If y'all rock with your girl, reaction videos, vlogs, reviews, bangers, you name it, she coming. We child. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Baby. No ma'am. No ma'am. Not mine. Not mine. No ma'am. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. If you watch to the end, God bless you. Things are coming your way. I promise you. Help those that help you. You feel me? My success is y'all success. Um, I'm not begging for a subscribe because I want mine to be organic anyway. Um, you want to be here because you want to be here, not because I'm forcing you. But if you feel the need, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you don't subscribe. Or just comment and let me know how you guys feel. But other than that, good luck to you all. Prayers to you and your families. I pray, pray that you all stay safe and guided. As I would say from this day forward, your girl Bentley out. Period. <laughs>